And hey guys, it's me Tuck. Welcome back to some more Bomberman Land Wii. In the last episode, we finished um I'm think round I'm thinking round two. Once again, you know, I haven't really checked. I just now hopped on this. But I did do the off-screen stuff for clothing, and of course, uh, I'm gonna be revealing the mini games that'll be in the future. So let's go to outfit, I guess. And I have it open up in um notepad. <laughs> to think there for a second. Um, let's see. The first one is a student cap. And you can get this by maxing out your training in math class. Math game in here, I know. Ugh, horrible. Um, for the business jacket, you can do card matchup, which is incredibly easy. I love that mini game, and you'll find out why in the future. Um, for the... where is it? Face. Gold mask. You can do Jet Hand Car, and um, I don't really like that mini game, so I'm not looking forward to it, honestly. Cap of Shoes is for Foot Race, which kind of makes sense since, you know, you do race a lot. And finally, Samurai Pants is for Sword Draw. Kind of makes sense. But we are heading back to. Uh, oh, never mind. We have to do that shopping thing. Oops. I forgot about this. Oh well. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> now loading. Okay, let's go up here. I think we need to talk to someone specific. Cute pink. And she says, we're pretty good, but don't go thinking, oh, we can beat her. We beat her at sword draw. I mean, come on. By the way, Tuck, have you figured out how the system works in Bomberman Land? You have to collect lots of zone pieces to get promoted to the next zone. Do you know how to collect lots of zone pieces? Now, you have to get this right to get something special. Um, basically, you get a good score. I believe that's the correct answer. Uh, yes. I don't, I don't really know if this is the precise answer that you have to get right, but that's what I've always put. So, she gives us a little reward, which is high heels. <laughs> we are not wearing these. I'm sorry. We're not turning my bomber dude into a tranny red wearing full. I don't even know. But we are not putting on high heels at all. Lo siento. I don't even think it would be right to put uh, high heels on your bomber. Mainly, look at their eyes. This is typically the eyes for a bomber dude, bomber man, not a bomber woman or dudette, however you want to call it. So, that's just my two cents, and sorry if my hands are jittery, I'm kind of like hungry right now, so I'm probably going to munch on some food and go om nom nom in a minute after this video. <laughs> now, I do not know how long I can do this, because I might have to cut the video, and if I cut the video, um, I can't really do that because of my computer and how it's sucking recently, so I don't know how this will go. Hopefully it'll be going rather smoothly. Um, so honestly, I'm not sure. But ring round three ranking battle has begun. And the champion once again has to give us his words of glory or something. Okay, you little worms, the round three ranking battle is on. We've got some sweet champion rules for the round three ranking battle. And once again is... Ew, pleasant smelling. You're freaky. Why do you smell old men? Old bomber men. We all know the champion's pastime. Anyways, it's the Mario Party 5 item thing again. And apparently it hurts the director. His top hat like breaks the fall though, so I don't really see what his problem is. He doesn't like things that hurt. Or whatever, I don't know. But this can change differently. Um, it's not a mandatory thing. One player only. Lobby area, yeah. Uh, he's gonna open single player areas one and two, which is where we're going. We're not doing anything in the lobby because once again, after you ace a game, you cannot play it again at all. You won't get any tokens, so don't bother. Just go to the new places, that's pretty much it. And um, once again, He's a douchebag, so we're just going to skip through his little text, because that's pretty much the same crap all the time. And let's get our tokens. 
four tokens, because there's only four games that are coming up that you really need, and she's going to give us one extra token, which we're probably going to use on... S no, we can't go to sword draw, never mind. We'll probably turn it in. But let's head this way. Are you new? Nope. Nothing. I'll look around the lobby area later for new people. I don't even think there's any new people at all. Except for over here, I think there's one. Is it you, big... Are you big sis bomber? Yeah, no. We've already talked to you. Have we talked to you? Yeah, we've talked to you. This is the thing I hate. For the people that don't really have that much of an influence and not are not really, you know, specifically standing out, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, if you talk to them already. That's something I do not like about this game. Because um, I do kind of want to get everyone's biography or info on my thing with Bobby before this Let's Play is over. And if I miss any, I guess I miss any. Um, but anyways, we're going to do card matchup. Um, look for the matching cards and two rows of cards, and you play with the Wii Remote upright. Use the pointer to move the cursor up, down, left, or right. Select pairs of cards by pressing cards, not cars, by pointing at each card with the Wii Remote and pressing the A button. When all the cards are match up, matched up, you will get a time bonus and the dealer will deal new cards. Find the pairs quickly without making any mistakes. Good luck. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So you do this and pretty much match cards. And um, every time you complete the rows, you get more time. And if you miss any, it's game over. So just take your time and um, you should get through it rather well. I almost picked the wrong one. Holy crap. That would have sucked. Um, but this will probably take a while, mainly because, like right now, we haven't even, well, we just now reached E rank. So, um, it, it will take time, but at the same time, this is kind of easy, plus you, you get, um, new time throughout it, and, uh, a little trick is to just look for a specific, um, spot. Like, if you see this little bubble thing in the corner, look for another one with a bubble thing, and if you see more than one, you can kind of narrow it down and compare that's what I've always done. It's got, it's gotten me through it. And if you see like a bundle of the same thing on one card, then that kind of narrows it down. Like these two fire thingies, or these two speed down um, power ups. Um, you know, they're kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. So, and we are almost to A rank. Ooh, did I just pick the wrong thing? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I think I would have gotten game over, but you know, oh well. And. Uh, you will slowly run out of time if you're like me and you want to check and see near the end. Um, usually when I'm not talking though and I'm focused, I can do this really quick and fly through it. So we can just pick a wrong one. And um, actually it doesn't make you get game over, it just lowers your time. So yeah, no worries if you get it wrong. Um, if I probably got it wrong earlier, I couldn't tell because I keep my TV volume down because I don't want it to echo with my commentary and you hear the game twice. <laughs> and it'd be super annoying, because that's been in my past videos and I hate it. So, that was that, card matchup, it was, it's a favorite of mine. Jet hand car I hate. I don't really like it, honestly. I don't, I just don't. I don't know why, I just, I just really don't. You have to face this one freaky looking dude, and uh, he's not really an opponent, he's just, um, pretty much, a, 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 he goes to a specific time and stops. Anyways, I'm probably s sounding stupid. Ride your hand car to the finish line, put the remote sideways, swing the remote up and down to speed the hand car. When the speed gauge climbs up to the jet level, your hand car will move with jet powered speed. If you rise it up to the very top, however, it will overheat and your game will be over and you get you have to get to the goal as fast as you can without it overheating. So here's what I usually do it and I'm not gonna talk through this that much. Because that would have sounded weird and jittery. Um, anyways, the computer that you are apparently facing, he is set at 13 seconds. He will get there at 13 seconds. So if you do not beat him, you do not get A rank. That's pretty much how it goes. And that leads to a multiplayer area. Have we talked to you? Oh, you're Kane. Oh, we've already talked to you apparently. And you're Mitch. Yep. Ah. 
I hate it. I just don't like it. Even though I got those names right, um, except for Kane, I just thought he was new. I didn't even know I talked to someone named Kane. That's how awful it is. Uh, you're Kid Bomber. I thought you were someone new. Um, are you new? You're the Toad person. I remember you specifically. You're not Unlucky Bomber. You are Toad Bomber. You're new. Don't, aren't you, Hosa? No. What the F? No one's new. Oh, here's freaking bra strap girl or whatever. Miss I want some in the E-rated game. And you're Lucky Bomber. Or Sarah, okay. And you're Creeper Man. So, we're just gonna move on. Head over to the next zone. Actually, what time are we at? 11 minutes, we can do this. We can, we can get this done. Extended time on Bomberman Land? We? Oh well. I'll go past 15 minutes. And we've talked to all these people. These are the, you know, standout people. The legit people. And we've talked to every single one. I think we've talked to Cowboy Bomber. Have we? Tumbleweed? Yeah, sure. Math class is... Oh, math class. I hate this one. For obvious reasons. Um, no one likes math. Especially in a video game. You kind of play video games to get away from that. At least I do. But oh well. Solve arithmetic problems written on the chalkboard. Joy! Play with the remote upright. An arithmetic problem will appear on the chalkboard. Why can't you just say math problem? It's not that hard. Uh, you just choose plus or minus. Uh, there's no multiplication or division or squared roots or uh, x squared or whatever. Nothing like that. Or whatever is in the upper classes because I haven't got there yet. Just point at it and check which one, you press the A button, and uh, if you get it wrong, you lose a heart, but we don't have hearts in this one for some reason. So if you miss it, we're screwed. So take your time. Get as many as you can within the time limit. That's pretty much it. A key here that I like to do is look at here and then see if this one's bigger and this one's smaller. It's kind of easy to tell. Uh, that's how I just usually do it, because I can just take a quick glance at it and watch me mess up while I say this. Hopefully not, though. This is basically it though, you just press, you know, plus or minus. It's not exciting at all, honestly. I do not like this minigame. I don't know why they have it in here. We've already got E rank. So at least it's at least it's short, I guess. Like they're 30 points apart. And uh, you can take your time on this, like look, we've already hit D and we're at like 40 seconds, so we can pretty much just Oh, uh, what the <laughs> Told you I'd do it. My math skills suck. <laughs> Let's go to the map. We'll do this. At, we'll do it on our final token. Stupid math class, making me look like an idiot. And there's Carmen, Bronze Bomber, whatever. <laughs> Foot race, something that's actually legit. Let's do this. God, stupid math class, hate it. Run, cross the water, and race to the finish line. Play with the remote upright. Press the A button when you see go on the screen to start the race. Tap A quickly to run rapidly. If you jump the gun, the game's over, and once you're in the boat, swing the remote to use the fan to speed up. After getting out, tap the A button again to run until you reach the end. Um, if you hear button mashing, then I'm sorry. Uh, I love this minigame because I like button mashing. I don't know about you all, but... Um, Button mashing mini games are a favorite of mine. Like that mini game domination in Mario Party 4. Me and my sister played that all the time because we loved the button mashing gist of it, pretty much. And we got A rank, so we didn't fail. Thank Jesus. We can go back to math class and try to redeem ourselves and uh, make our D better because Ds are what I get in math class every day. Not really. I kind of get A's and B's, mixture both. Because I'm a tryhard, apparently. Let's get this over with. I hate it at school. I hate it here. Like, what's... I guess I could ask this. What's your all's favorite math? Not math. Class. What's your favorite class? Mine... <laughs> You're probably going to think I'm a total hypocrite. <laughs> it's math. <laughs> I just... I just 
don't know. I mean, I find it boring, and at the same time, it's kind of, you know, easy. So that's why I like it. And here I am, like, dissing it and saying it sucks. It's terrible. I hate math. Jeez. Um, but a close second that's actually starting to rise up, possibly surpassing math soon, is English. I don't know why, but I just like it more. It's weird. And, um, we're, we're doing pretty good. B rank? We're about to hit A rank. God. My math teacher would be so disappointed. <laughs> Let's just keep hitting plus. Are you kidding me? Okay, I was about to say, is every single one of these are going to be plus? Jeez. And we got our seven pieces, leaving us to a nice uneven 107 points. And we are out of tokens, so let's head back to the information desk. It's this way. Uh, I can't find my way out of here. This is why I like pathways. <laughs> oh god. What a very interesting day in the ring zone, I guess. Wait, information table's down here. I can't even find my way around here anymore, jeez. Yes, I'm done. Let's go to the big screen and see how the results are, even though it said we're in first place. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Wahaha, I did it, I did it. Oh, it's Tuck. Yeah, it's me. I don't know why I'm so surprised. Leader, are you going to start bragging again? Why would I? Why wouldn't I? I mean, he's somebody I can really brag to. It'd be rude not to. Fatty. I get a ton of zone pieces after I finish an attraction at a high rank. I was at the one. I was the one who finished the game at high rank. Bah! Don't sweat the details. <laughs> these these three, they're just. I don't know. They seem like brothers, but they're really not. But you can you just assume it. Like I just see them as they're related, kind of, even though they don't look similar at all. You have the kid who keeps it real, yet he's a kid, apparently. Then you have the fat, rich kid who thinks he's hot crap, and then you have the nerdy bookworm kid who's all like, yeah, this is what's happening. And, um, yeah, Kid Blue keeping it real. Let's just head up to the screen and see what's happening. Even though we got first. Let's see where everyone else is at. Who's Kinta? I don't think we've talked to her. Or Sanko. Or Navcam. Cam. Bleh. Oh well. And here's everyone else. Oh, we have a tie for six. Kid Blue and Samurai Bomber. And Giant Gold and Silver Knight are tied too, so... Well... Anyways, we win, so we can head back to the Bomber Center for the final ranking battle, which will be in the next video, of course. Let's just get the heck back in here. Um, I don't think there are any new minigames coming up, so I won't have to off-screen. I'll have to check, though. I'm not sure. But I don't think. Anyways, let's just save. Regular Sprinter. We still have that crappy nickname. I wonder when that will change, I don't know. Anyways, let's over at round two, since we've, you know, done it, and it's in the past, and it's already uploaded. So yeah, this has been Bomberman Land Wii in the next episode. Let me stand all fancy schmancy here. Whatever. In the next episode, we'll be doing the final ranking match, and possibly be going to Delta Zone. I see it happening. Anyways, thanks to you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.